Hello Internet! Welcome to Zona Geral. I am Jean de Silva and today I have here in my hands this equipment uh, which is called Multifunction HDD Docking. This is a quite interesting device and as uh, its, name, its name says, it's multifunction. What, what does it mean when we start talking about this equipment? It, uh, you can copy and or clone HDDs but you can also use uh, many ports, for example, USB, many different kinds of cards. Well, as a photographer, you, you need to back up your equipment immediately. Because if you leave your files in just one place, you're probably going to lose it. Or you don't know when, but it, it will happen. So, this equipment um, has this purpose. Well, um, its main function is to clone uh, HGs. For example, I have here in one DVD that I can just plug here in the first port. This is the main the main HG, and uh, and here we have other ports one and two. Those are the ones that are going to be cloned. It, this is its main function. It's very easy. We have uh, two SATA ports here and one IO here. It's very simple. Once you put one. A uh, HDD here and the other here. You will connect the cable here, turn it on, and uh, you will press this button once. The light will on, be on, and you press it twice. It has to be immediately. Press one, press twice, and then the light will start indicating the percentage of. The, the cloning. It will go to 25%, 50%, 75%, 100% and then it will be over. This process can take a, a long time depending on the, the capacity of your device, of your HDD. Well, uh, this HDD here is 60, uh, 140 gigabytes and this is one uh, uh, terabyte. It means that if I start copying this, if I place it here in the, in the first compartment and introduce the, the, the next one here, the cloning will not happen because it, it is bigger than this, it has more capacity because it, this is 1 terabyte, 1000 gigabytes, and this is 640 gigabytes. This is not going to happen because the, for the cloning to happen, it has to be the same size or smaller because if I I can do the opposite. I can place this 640 gigabytes in here and 1000 gigabytes in here and the cloning will happen. And as it is cloning the devices, this will now have 640 gigabytes too. The other parts will be hidden and you have to insert in windows and uh, mess it up with it. But this, this is the function of these devices, to clone the devices. So, the cloning to happen is very simple. The first ATG needs to be at the same size or uh, bigger than, uh, or smaller than the, the second device and the clone will happen. You can also uh, plug it on a computer using a port USB 2 and transfer data to your uh, portable hard disk uh, using the computer. But uh, I did like uh, that function very much because uh, I don't know if it's a problem of energy, but the, it keeps disconnecting all the time, especially when you transfer um, more than 200 gigabytes at a time. It will start disconnecting. It's quite annoying because you have to turn it on, to turn it off again, and turn it on, and start the process all over again. So you can uh, see the files if you connect. To, uh, if you connect this device to a computer, you can see the files in the computer that are here and you can also transfer files from your computer to this device and vice, vice versa but as I told you, it is going to disconnect all the time uh, but for the smaller data, it's okay because you can use uh, uh, the ports here to transfer data, data from the card to your computer and maybe it will... Uh, I've never tested that but as the, the data are smaller, maybe it will be better. But I think its main function, and uh, you, if you want this device, is only for that to copy or to clone the, the one device to another. For that, this device is 
very, very practical. Uh, it's a very cheap device, so don't expect uh, much of it. I think it, it, it can damage it very easily, so if you depend on this heavily, uh, I advise you to have at least two of them, because it sounds very cheap. Um, I have it for three months now, and uh, because of this, of this thing that I told you that is disconnecting all the time from the computer, I'm not using it to transfer data from my computer to my ATG devices anymore. I'm just using it to clone it. When I have one disk that I need, then when I need it to have the same data in another disk, then I will use this device. It takes uh, quite a long time to copy the ATG to one another, to, but uh, it's interesting because you let it work and you will, you will do something else uh, until the job is done or you leave it for the night and it will be over uh, in the morning. Uh, it works with Windows 7, Windows 8, 8.1, Windows 10, so it's not a problem with the systems. Um, let me see if I forgot something about it. Um, you know, I think that's that pretty much it. Yeah, uh, this is a, a very cheap way to back up your files. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's pretty much it. Uh, and I think I think you. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. I don't have anything more to say about this device. Uh, and uh, if you have enjoyed this video, please uh, like it down there. And if you want to to write something about it, uh, be free to to write something down there. And if you have any questions, you can write down there. And I hope to see you next video.